So you want to document your next big expedition or maybe you already have some GoPro footage that you want to stitch together. Good morning legends. Welcome to Redefining Adventure. My name is Torev Jensen. I'm an award-winning filmmaker and I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to make an impactful adventure film. Something that your audience will remember. Let's get into it. Start by thinking about your motivation for this adventure and how you can narrate it. If you just want to share your love for the outdoors, this is really great. But if you really want to make an impact, then you have to make it about more than yourself, like raising awareness about uh, the environment or supporting an orphanage at the foot of that hill you want to climb. The reason for that is it'll probably be easier for you to get a more diverse audience but also get more sponsors on board for your project. So with a clear motivation, you also have a better idea of what to film and what to leave out of that story. To give you an example uh, on how to structure your film, I've named these three common formats. The first I call the portrait. Feel like an outcast sometimes. But here, things are different. We see an outdoors person doing whatever outdoor discipline they love, like, you know, hiking, uh, while they voice over and narrate their personal love and motivation for hitting the trails. Another format I call the epic montage. This is like minimal story, but lots of amazingly beautiful shots. Adrenaline sports like, you know, off-piste skiing uh, is a great example. Finally, there's the expedition. And this is a journey often with multiple characters and one could argue the most uh, documentary-like. This is about being vulnerable. Show your failures. The best moments on adventure films are actually when things go wrong. <laughs> Am I right? Or what? So make sure to turn on the camera when things get hairy. And hey, don't, don't worry about the, being embarrassed about your mistakes and shortcomings. You know, documenting them and let other people learn from them is really powerful and honestly goes a long way. And daring to be vulnerable will make your audience connect with you. What about this in next tip? In the Oscar-winning film Free Solo, which you probably have watched, Alex Honnold, uh, our protagonist, his outer journey is to climb this iconic rock wall without rope. But we also get to follow his inner journey from being a single man living in a van to committing to buying a house with his new girlfriend, which one could argue is actually the, the real adventure for him as he's been up of this rock like a hundred times. So you should ask yourself, what are your inner struggles and how can you challenge those on your journey? Don't get carried away by spending all your hard earned dash on a like 8K video camera. You can get far with a, a mobile phone, GoPro as well. All you need really is a good story and then you can always upgrade your gear later. Remember, when you're budgeting for gear, consider all this other stuff like extra batteries, tripod, waterproof, packing, and of course, microphones and recorders. So sound is actually one of the hardest things to get right. Nowadays, there's actually some cheat options like Adobe Podcast, where you can refine your voice recordings. I'll put a link to it below. And for more on all this audio stuff, I've actually written an article on it and I also made some videos on it. So uh, follow the link below. Now that you have your camera at hand, let's look at how to shoot a scene. So let's say first you approach the rabbit in your pack raft and tells us why it's challenging. Like, oh, look at those rocks. Ah, oh, what? Anyways, that's the setup. Secondly, we see you execute, aka running the rabbit. And finally, we get the payoff. Your triumph below the inferno of foaming waves, you know, big smiles, dilated pupils, high fives. And also think about your overarching storyline of your whole film as consisting of these three elements as well, like the intro, the actual journey, and the conclusion. As we talked about the holy trinity of setup, execution, and payoff, you also want to make sure to capture these three frames when filming. Then you want to get a wide shot, medium shot, and then a close up. If you have these three elements, your editing becomes a lot easier and your film is gonna be more pleasant to watch. 
Oh man, I made some mistakes there. <laughs> okay, when I filmed my circumnavigation of uh, Denmark by kayak with my old kayak buddy Kai, I was too caught up in the film project which came at the expense of enjoying the voyage. This put a great strain on our friendship, like we're still best buddies, but when when filming your uh, companion, it's a good idea to agree beforehand how much uh, the filming is going to be part of the adventure and uh, promise them to have a say on the final cut so they don't have to worry about being caught off guard while out in the wild. And finally, plan a few days with no filming because not everything has to be documented. As soon as you return, make sure to back up all your footage, then on to editing while the trip is still fresh in your mind. Think of uh, the editing as making a painting. First you are sketching up the elements like the overall structures of the story and then you get on to developing uh, the scenes. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I forgot to tell you that I've made a PDF with these uh, 10 tips that you can download. Just uh, follow the link in the comments. And then on to add your voiceover and music as well. But then you could be like, hey Tor, I don't have any editing software. Don't worry, my friend. You can download DaVinci Resolve for free. I'll link in that below. Uh, there's also Final Cut Pro. You have to pay for that. A bit easier to use if you're a Mac user. There's a lot of free music out there. Uh, but if you want better music and motion graphics for your titles and all that, you can consider a paid service such as Artlist or Pond5. Or if you have a talented friend who plays music, Ask them to contribute to be part of the film. Oh, congratulations. It is time to share your story with the masses, if that's what you want. But before releasing your film on YouTube or Vimeo, you can also consider if you want to submit it to a uh, adventure film festival. There's lots of them out there. One thing to do is go to filmfreeway.com, the site that has like a lot of film festivals all over the world and it's, and it's super easy to submit your film as well. I would also mention the Nordic Adventure Film Festival, which we have in Denmark, an awesome festival as well. There's also online streaming services focusing adventure films. One last thing to keep in mind is that what most audiences remember is a good story and honest characters. You don't have to take all the boxes in this list to make a compelling film. This is just a guide. Uh, and don't be afraid to mix uh, genres and trying something completely new. That's what adventure is all about.